here is an experimental environmental detector that uh, features air quality sensors and uh, radiation sensors. On the back you can see it has five large Geiger tubes so it comes with a very good sensitivity to radiation and it also has an air tube with some sensors inside which are used to, to measure the air quality, the VOC concentration and uh, the dust concentration along with uh, regular parameters like temperature, pressure and humidity. The idea with this device is to have it hooked up to the car and uh, while driving to collect data across a city. It has a wireless connectivity via a Bluetooth module. You can see it right here. So uh, this unit connected to the car outside would uh, connect to your smartphone via Bluetooth and have all readings sent to, to the server to create a heat map of some kind or just uh, stored on the smartphone for synchronizing the data later. It runs on a battery, it has a power management system and it has a very good autonomy. The idea with uh, the air tube is that while the car is moving the air would get inside and the sensors would be able to, to react to the air. And right now the unit is connected to my computer and the data is being sent via Bluetooth. It is formatted as a JSON and uh, there are a couple of sensors connected the BME 280 and the new BME 680 along with a sharp dust sensor. To run a quick test let's use a smoke source and uh, we will have some problems getting the air in the air tube but this will eventually happen by just placing the unit over the smoke. The dust has uh, already increased it shows now 0 0.41 so it works also the VOC sensor shows decreased resistivity across the sensor due to decreasing levels of oxygen reaching the sensor. So in case volatile organic compounds would enter we would see increasing resistivity across the BME 680. Initially I designed a very compact board for this project but um, it was quite difficult to manufacture it uh, without the proper tools so instead I just adapted a new art monitor D model board and uh, I just connected the sensors and uh, the battery but the Geiger tubes were replaced with the five you've seen at the back of the unit and uh, there were also a few other modifications instead of the wireless module I had to connect the Bluetooth module and uh, the firmware is also a custom one so the, the idea with this one is to be able to do some measurements in real time across the city and see how the data is fluctuating and uh, then also create a heat map to track pollution and uh, see how well these sensors can be used for this purpose. The sensors to track air are quite small so this unit can really be scaled down considerably but I also wanted to be able to sense even uh, very small modifications in the radiation background levels so I, I thought it would be a good idea to hook up some very sensitive uh, Geiger tubes in parallel. 
so this is the device and uh, I hope to be able to post some uh, real-time measurements as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.